So um, I just want to say uh, very welcome to Gothenburg University and uh, to the Faculty of Social Sciences and not least, of course, to the Department of uh, Sociology and, uh, and uh, what is it called? Work Science, yeah, uh, which is a new uh, creation since a little more than one year ago when these two, uh, Work Science and Sociology, merged. Um, <coughs> yeah, we will uh, make a little experiment by comparing three stories about the background of the uh, changing employment project uh, but I will use uh, another angle on it but we could have used this uh, in the training of historians and uh, training in source uh, criticism because uh, you will see that these three stories differ at least when it comes to the year when things happen and why it happened which people who were there and so on <coughs> So uh, we'll try that on uh, the PhD students here uh, uh, as it goes by. I'm the dean of the faculty, uh, and, uh, but I'm also the director of uh, a research center, which um, thematically uh, is very close to the Changing Employment Project. Um, I'm referring to uh, the Work and Employment Research Center, which is set up at uh, the University of Gothenburg together with the uh, University of Technology in Gothenburg. And there are four faculties represented from the university, including medicine and social science. Um, so I've also been asked to say uh, something about the history of the network behind this. Uh, but I will concentrate on the networking itself. Uh, why do we network and uh, uh, what should you think about? What you should you think of when you are networking? And uh, as uh, the, um, the WE, the, um, the Work and Employment, uh, Employment Research Center, also is a network. I have some, some experience. I wouldn't say I'm an expert. But I have um, trying to uh, keep networks going for uh, many years. Um, and I think uh, some of these things uh, could be considered in this project, ac actually, and uh, not least among the PhD students uh, present. Actually, of course, there are many networks going together when it comes to this project. But uh, the one, the project uh, the, that uh, Steve and Paul referred to is the ISWL, which is the International School of Working Lives, which maintained for many years, as you have uh, heard. Uh, it had its downs, and it certainly also had its ups. Uh, I think there was a quite a tough time uh, in by the end of the 90s, beginning of the 2000s when uh, only six PhD students showed up and perhaps three seniors. It's very important just to go through that and to have the meetings anyway because things are changing. When new people, people come in, like you, for example, Paul and, and, and the others. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I agree with you two former speakers that the network was started up uh, in somewhere in the middle of the 90s. <laughs> <coughs> uh, we were two people going to Kiel, but also to other places in uh, England, Ireland, and uh, France. We made that trip uh, to uh, be able to create some uh, exchange for students, but we also had a plan that we could extend that to uh, uh, exchange of PhD students, but we didn't quite know, know how really. So uh, in the end, uh, that was Ben Triller and I, and we went, among other places, to Kiel, and we also went to Evry de Valcazon in, in France, and uh, we met uh, Steve Jeffries and Frank Burchill in Kiel, and Jean-Pierre Durand and uh, Frederick Misperblom in, uh, in uh, Evry. And we also met a lot of other people. I've seen this also in, an, in a Scandinavian network earlier, 
it's so important how you are welcomed when you come there and that the people are nice not only nice in themselves which is a, an advantage of course but nice to you and of course that you find the same topics as uh, as both Paul and Steve uh, referred to so what we find in uh, Evry and in uh, Kiel was the right people with, uh, with uh, the same interests, research interests, as, as we had uh, ourselves, uh, which is two very important prerequisites for further uh, uh, networking, of course. Almost 20 years later, we find when we see the list of participants here and participants in the, in the project that uh, half of these people are <laughs> still here. Uh, some have left. Uh, Bernd is, for example, 78 by now. He's still uh, around, but he's not uh, here today. And he's still doing research. He published a book last year, among other things, on solidarity. Because he thought that there's too little talk about solidarity today. <laughs> we, have, we all um, participated in that anthology. Tommy and Christina and I did too. Um, there are some other aspects, I think, worth mentioning when it comes to the network, ISWL network. That is the, um, what we did, especially uh, Steve Jeffries, I would say, uh, used the network for initiating and starting and promoting uh, European uh, applications to, uh, to the European Union which made the network going for many years. So beside the, the, the very good research impact of the uh, projects, it also helped very much for the uh, network to keep going under those years. Well, the, uh, so it's, uh, it's not wrong to say that the Changing Work project is a result of all the efforts made uh, at least from the Gothenburg meeting you mentioned, uh, where we also went back to Strathclyde afterwards to summer. It's dependent on this network. And I would say that it, it, it would mean so much, I think, to the research in this area if this network could keep going for many more years, uh, of course. Uh, and I think that what you could stress here, and is the importance of people in the network. Uh, they are more important, I think, than the environments in which they are, or at least that more important than uh, in which department you are in or which university. And we've seen this. When Paul joined in 96 or 97 or something, I don't remember. <laughs> I wouldn't say it because it would probably be wrong uh, anyway. Uh, you were in Bristol, but you moved to uh, Strathclyde and you brought the network, you, you, you were the network, uh, part of the network, rather than Bristol University. Uh, the same goes for Steve, uh, moving from Kiel to London Metropolitan, uh, the, uh, then the network, uh, we still had a network in Kiel, but uh, the important part of the network uh, moved from Kiel to London in, in this respect. Um, my message to all the participants in this project is that networking is much more than uh, just to start a project. You will have to continuously put in new energy in the networks, and if you don't do, the, do that, they will die. So what kind of energy would be needed? Uh, well, I think you have to, buy, uh, to build friendly and scientifically strong, long-lasting relationships between individual researchers rather than environments. They should be based on scientific curiosity and trust. But above all, there must be engaged people who participate in the network during a long time <coughs> and who are willing to, from time to time, step in as drivers. Uh, to the network. And these people acting like some kind of drivers of the network must also be very open to find and to let in new drivers in the networks. Uh, we must certainly open the doors also for younger drivers <laughs> in this respect. Uh, not perhaps the youngest but the quite young 
people. Uh, Adam uh, Morosowski, I think, represents <laughs> this group, and he has been very valuable uh, for the uh, as a driver in, in the network uh, during the last years. Uh, the Changing Employment Project represents in itself a great chance to widen the ISWL network to a new and even more successful um, level uh, by bringing in its PhD students to the network, postdocs of course, and not least the partners outside the academy uh, for long-lasting long cooperation, and not least there must be important elements of joy when you network. It must be fun, and we have had a lot of fun, I would say, uh, during these years. You will have to create a cooperation where you look forward to the meetings in the network and to the project meetings. If you do not combine scientific fruitfulness and fun, there is no future in the network. So I wish you good luck both with a changing work project and with the development of a long-lasting network filled with scientific, su scientific success and joy. Thank you.